Story number six. Crime, corruption, chaos, and chaos. The old versus the new. Folks, we have seen more crime and corruption and chaos that we've never seen before. And we've seen it televised on social media. There were some uh, stories about there's a new type of ball game when it comes to gang violence and the way this is the old versus the new. Uh, there was a mob, uh, they're called Flash Mob. They stole like 30 grand worth of mer merchandise at a North Face store in Wisconsin. Peter Gotti from the Gambino crime family says that he's sorry and seeks to be released from prison. The game has changed a little bit when we talk about gangsters and how they're doing things now. But this is like, it's creating two worlds of thought here and it's creating antitrust and and the, the, the to where people are afraid to go out and 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 or they they have to develop neighborhood watches in certain parts of the world, in certain parts of the city. There was a uh, Indiana father convicted of killing his three month old son. He was he was punched in the face in court. So the justice system is facing a lot of things, and they're trying to figure out why are all of these prisons being filled constantly with criminals, and it, it's 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 almost like things have changed a little bit to where people are more likely to choose the, the darker side of life rather than to live a better life. So it, it, it's a, it was a well-known study that talks about how human beings are more, are, are more uh, I think uh, they're more now accepting or desensitized to violence. And they would rather indulge in something that is less productive than productive, which will lead us into our next story here in a second. But this story, this study is starting to gain a lot of traction because of the fact that people are dying. There was a, a, a Utah student. She was murdered and her remains were found. And there was some people were talking about how they, they felt like this girl deserved it. It, it. These stories are real. People are starting to, uh, even when you talk about uh, what they say, you go, you can go to a family outing right now, and there's probably multiple members of the family who have convicted, who've been convicted of felonies. So the question is, is why are so many people committing crimes? And these these stories are starting to get interesting. There was a, a woman talking about how the culture has changed, and it's not been in favor of women. There was a photo of a, of an extreme overcrowding in even Iraqi jails. People are getting put in prison so so fa so fast now. It's unbelievable. Uh, two charged with felonies after even in Chicago. I think it was the 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 bean the bean in the Chicago's Millennium Millennium Park. They were vandalizing it with with gang graffiti. So why are so many people choosing to do what's wrong? Is it a system? Is it is it is it by 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 design? Uh, Mexico, they said that Mexico's murder rate reaches an all-time high. Teachers are concerned that they're teaching their children to be scholars, but they're turning out to be criminals. This was a, a, a report by a, a teacher in the in the Youngstown school system. Uh, he, had, he came to my office and was telling me that teachers are, are, are really concerned about the fact that they're trying to teach these children how to be scholars and, and to do good things with their time and they're turning out to be criminals and this is they have all of these programs for for women for uh, women not to get pregnant to practice safe sex and they're turning out to be aborters and all types so the thing is the culture is changing and it's changing for the worse violent protests over teens death in israel injures 111 police officers more than 100 civilians killed by a violent outbreak in South Sudan. So violence is, is becoming so common amongst people, amongst the masses. People are, you know, back in the day, they, they would always joke about how people could leave their doors unlocked. And it's, nowadays, it's not as common as it used to be. You see people with, especially in, in the inner city, you see people with, gun, with uh, guns in their house and, and locks on all their doors, chains on their, and bars on their windows. So are we in the different time frame? New Jersey men playing with fireworks were shot multiple times by the police. So you can't even trust the police. Customer allegedly throws scalding hot coffee at Burger King worker. Folks, this is a reality. 
and uh, the thing is, is that is this is this becoming co common? Are humans becoming desensitized to violence, and are we designed to be that way? Is it is it normal for a child to go parent to be paranoid at night, not be not wanting to go to school the next day because they have some bully in class? Is it normal for you to be with your family members at a family reunion and you have to you cannot trust the people at the dinner table? Like I said, these stories surface every week. You're the meathead with me, Brian West, where I won't hurt you. I'm trying to give you something that's good for you, some vitamin news every week. So if you want to contribute, all you have to do is visit www.method, the number eight, inc.com, method80.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something, or just sponsor a program. You're the meathead with me, Brian West. Have no fear, fellow citizens. This is the meathead.